Cafe Winter and I am here at Crafts 2024 and we are at Discover Dogs which allows you guys to see all of 222 breeds that the Kennel Club offers. And there are some dogs that you may not have heard of, just like me. The Hungarian Pulley. It is very unique, it is very beautiful, but today we are going to be looking at the native vulnerable breeds that the Kennel Club have listed. So let's go and have a look at a couple of them. It's like doggy dating and I absolutely love it. I am now with the Sky Terrier, which is actually one of the most vulnerable breeds last year with only 36 puppies being born. What do you think puts people off getting them or what do you think it is that's making them vulnerable? Do you reckon it might be the long hair? Is it, does it take a lot of grooming? It's possibly the coat, but they don't actually take that much grooming. I mean, he's normally doing about once a week. He lies upside down on my lap and I'll do one of his front legs and they can roll him over and brush him and he's very good. As long as you start them off from a puppy. Yeah. But I think with a lot of people that come, that is a misconception that they are hard work. Yeah. And they're not, as long as you sort of maintain them regularly. One breed that I have never heard of before until today was the Dandy Dimmock Terrier. I am here with Laura and the very special Nala and I definitely want to find out a little bit more about this breed. So can you tell me a bit more about this breed please? So they're proper terrier. They originated from the Scottish Borders. So they're one of the oldest British Scottish dogs you can get. Yeah. And what do you think the most perfect person to own one of these dogs is? Is it something that's active? Is it something they very couch potato like? What's the best dog? They match both really. So we go walking in like the Lake District and they can be out all day with us. So we've got five and we walk and walk in the lake. So they can be out for hours. And then on a daily basis, if they've only got half an hour walk around the block, then they go and sleep on the sofa. So they are definitely like couch potatoes, but can do more activities as well. So, so you're an all-rounder? Yeah. So I'm here with Bill from the Kennel Club. Obviously I've seen lots of dogs today and I have also seen some vulnerable breeds. I would love to know why you put this list together and what makes a dog a vulnerable dog? How is it classed as a vulnerable dog? So we registered 222 different breeds and of those breeds, the top 10 are the breeds that everybody knows. So your Labrador Retrievers, your Golden Retrievers, Copper Spaniels, Springer Spaniels, all the breeds that are very familiar and people see every day. But of those 222 breeds, a lot of them are getting to very small numbers. So we're only registering a few hundred maybe. And when you get to those low numbers, they can be at risk because there's not simply not enough dogs to go around. And what would you say to everybody to get them down to here to discover dogs? Why should they come and visit this part of Craft? It's an excellent opportunity to talk to people who know the breeds inside out. They know the good points and the bad points and they will give you honest advice. Buying a dog is, is such an important thing that you do. Yeah. The dog's going to live in your family for the next 10, 15 years. You've got to make that right choice if it's going to be a success. For sure. Thank you so much. I feel like that's opened our eyes so much more. Thanks for your time. And guys, come down to Discover Dogs. We can part ways knowing next year, hopefully you won't be on the vulnerable yeah, list. Hopefully we'll have a few more puppies next year. But if you are, that means I can come around and see you again. So that's great as well. <laughs>